Hello guys! In recent years I have done a lot of demo projects and I used this design with Laravel Auth default as a starting base. So it's a simple bootstrap theme, you just launched Laravel new dash dash auth and you continue with it. Another example was my YouTube video for Vue.js example, but same here, I've created a new Laravel project that gives a fresh design, doesn't matter if I use auth or not, and inside of it I code whatever I want. And for the last year I've been using this command to do that. So dash dash auth generated everything I needed. In new Laravel 8, however, it was replaced, so there's no dash dash auth anymore. Instead, they recommend to use a new Laravel jet stream for scaffolding of login registration and all auth. The problem with Laravel jet stream, however, if we take a look at the official documentation of jet stream, you need to choose the new stack, new tech stack between Livewire or Inertia.js. And if you don't work with those technologies, then it's additional problem for you. So in this video I will talk how to generate that auth, the older design version, without Jetstream, so without learning Livewire or Inertia.js. And we will talk about two ways. The first is Laravel UI package, which is kind of deprecated but still working. Or you can use a package called Laravel Fortify, which is actually a part of Jetstream but can be used separately and customized for whatever auth design you want. So let's dive in. The first way to generate to scaffold that Laravel auth is use the same Laravel UI package, which is actually what happens under the hood when you use Laravel new dash dash auth. It used the package Laravel UI, which was also a standard, and it gives you some artisan commands to generate that. So you generate artisan UI bootstrap, for example, with dash dash auth, the same flag, and it worked all the time until Laravel 8, where it became kind of deprecated. It's not officially deprecated, but it should no longer be used. That's how it's stated. And again, it is advised to use Laravel Jetstream. Luckily, Laravel team and Dries Vince listened to the crowd who were complaining about that deprecation, and they released a new Laravel UI version on September 11th, version 3, which was still supported by Laravel 8. And let's try to do that. If we do Laravel new project, Okay, it is installed. Then we go to the project and do composer require Laravel UI. It will require version 3 automatically, the new version 3, which is supported by Laravel 8. And then we can use the same command. Let's try to generate bootstrap auth like this. Generate it and we run npm install and npm run dev. Okay, successfully done, and now if we launch that project test, which I have prepared locally as a subdomain, we see default Laravel 8 homepage, which is different from Laravel 7, and on the top right you see login and register, which lead to the familiar auth bootstrap design. So login and register, everything will work. So that is one way of doing that with Laravel UI. But this notice tells me that it's better to prepare for the future because Laravel UI may not be supported in Laravel 9 and going forward. And I would like to use something more official, but still without gesturing. Apparently there is a way with Laravel Fortify. And Laravel Fortify is a new package that was introduced as a part of Laravel 8 and it was positioned as a part of Laravel Jetstream. And at first I even misunderstood the purpose of it. I thought it was authentication engine for Jetstream. And if you go to Jetstream documentation, you see Fortify as a part of it. But two days ago on Reddit, Taylor launched the official documentation for Fortify as a standalone package. So he filled the readme of Fortify with a lot of useful information, customization, and how to use Fortify without Jetstream. And we will try Laravel Fortify and generate the same bootstrap auth. But first I want to tackle the philosophical part. Why Fortify now? So it's still a change. And at first I was really skeptical about it, so why people have to relearn? But it does make sense if you think about it. Laravel UI as a package was actually serving two purposes. Generating the UI and generating the auth. So it was really hard to separate those two. What if you want to use just auth? So just the controllers, for example or if you just want to generate the UI, the Bootstrap or the React or Vue UI without auth. So it was kind of two in one package with the weird mix of designs and it was working, but Fortify is a package that tries to solve that problem. So Fortify is only for auth, only for backend auth, and you can replace the frontend with whatever you want. 
and even in the documentation it is stated Fortify is front-end agnostic authentication backend. So it's kind of if you would do in the old days PHP artisan make auth but without front-end. And front-end can be used as Laravel Jetstream with Livewire or Inertia.js or you can easily create your own front-end or reuse the same front-end from Laravel UI, which is exactly what we will do now. Let's try. So new Laravel project again and let's install Fortify instead of Laravel UI. We compose to require Fortify and we will follow the official documentation for it. Okay, installed. Now we publish the resources. As you can see, config Fortify is generated. Then app actions will be an important folder. And also there's app provider for Fortify and database migrations. So this is the next thing that we need to do, artisan migrate. Okay, migration is successful. The error above is just I had forgotten to put in my credentials for database. And as you can see, a new thing from Laravel Fortify is two-factor columns to users table. So in the database, in users table, you see columns two-factor secret and two-factor recovery codes, which is another benefit of using Fortify. It comes by default with two-factor authentication. And now let's take a look at the config of Fortify. There are a few features which are useful, like what username to use, what home to redirect to, rate limiting, but the main thing and the main benefit of Fortify is disabling or enabling features. So earlier in Laravel Auth, to enable or disable, for example, email verification or resetting the password or other features, it was a pretty weird big dance of regenerating something, editing something in a few files, front-end and back-end, and Fortify has a convenient config for enabling disabling features. So by default, it enables two-factor authentication, but if you want to disable it, just comment it out. If you want to enable email verification, just do this one. And remember, it enables and disables it only on the backend. You still need to build the front-end views for that. And this is exactly what we will do now. And by default, minimum amount of views that we need to create is login view, register view, and password reset view, which is actually two views, password request and then password reset form. So four views in total. And if you go to Laravel Fortify official documentation, there is a method how you define any view. And you can copy it from here and paste into Fortify service provider. Let's open Fortify service provider here which was generated by the publishing of vendor publish in Fortify. And by the way, don't forget to register that service provider after publishing. I've made that mistake and then was debugging for a long time. This line is important. You should ensure the file is registered within the providers in app configuration file. So if you go to config app in here, you need to go Fortify service provider class. That's it. Probably like this. And there are some actions already defined, but we ignore them. And in the boot, we just paste this. So we define that auth login however we want, and we will use Bootstrap for that in a minute. But we tell Fortify, use this view for login. And similar, if you go to the documentation deeper, same with register view. So copy register view here. Then copy and paste password reset link view like this and resetting the password. So four views in total, copy and paste. So we told Fortify to use these views. Now, where do we get them? We can get them from the same Laravel UI. So it would be kind of a trick. You get Laravel UI on a separate project. In a separate folder, you generate all the blades and all the CSS and JS and then copy into your main project. And this is what I did. I opened a separate project. I will open it in Sublime Text. And after all the npm run and everything, I have resources views auth folder with everything we need. And also layouts app. And I will just copy and paste both into our main folder. Copy and paste on the top. And now we have those files inside of our resources views. And also we need to copy public JS and CSS. Because if you go to layouts app, they are required as assets. So I will copy those as well. So public CSS and JS, copy and paste into our main folder. And now let's relaunch the login page. Refresh and we see our familiar login blade. A few things we need to tweak here because some of the view files are not exactly the same. So auth forgot password and auth reset password should be 
password confirm and password reset. So auth passwords email and passwords reset. So now we can click forgot your password and see the familiar view. And also if we click register, I will use fake filler to fill in the form. We click register and we successfully register the user. And the final problem is that we don't have a home link. It exists as a view like this, home blade, but we haven't added that in route. So let's do that as a final thing. Route view home home blade refresh and we have our dashboard home and we can click log out and it will all work fine and don't forget to protect your routes because if we go slash home now I'm still able to see that page so we need to protect that by doing middleware auth and then it will automatically redirect back to login important notice keep in mind it's all really fresh and it may still change it changes almost daily with additional documentation and explanation how to use things and fortify is still in its early days so if you are watching this video in the future with laravel 9 came up i'm not sure what happened then so read the latest official docs an example of this one thanks to philip on twitter who provided me the link actually published by taylor yesterday just 10 hours ago an overview of the whole authentication system with changes of Laravel 8. Because it became a pretty confusing thing. So there was Laravel Auth, but then there was Laravel Passport, then there was Laravel Sanctum for API, and now Scaffolding, Jetstream, Fortify, it's a mess. Well, not exactly a mess, but not clear to newcomers. So Ecosystem Overview is a really well-written explanation of the whole ecosystem, what to use and when to use them. And with that, I like the fact that Laravel stays as a backend framework. My overall disagreement with Laravel 8 changes for the auth and with Jetstream and all of that was that it's kind of pushing us to be full stack developers. So to learn Livewire, Inertia JS, Tailwind CSS and all of that. But in fact, Fortify is the package that actually breaks that chain and allows Laravel auth to be only backend. And then for API, you have Passport or Sanctum, which is also only backend. So Laravel stays as a backend framework with some frontend if you wish to use that in Jetstream with Tailwind, Livewire, Inertia. And it is opinionated, but that's what Taylor suggests himself. So he stands by that decision and he expressed that in a Reddit post. I really, really recommend you to read that, especially if you are not a fan of Laravel 8 changes. This is the post why he did it or the team did it and why he thinks that the new stack with Livewire and Inertia is a great way. So in general, Taylor and the team did a great job of reacting to reactions from the community. They explained why, they released some patches to Laravel UI, and then they released documentation to Fortify, and there will be surely more things that they will release, especially it will be more clear when tutorials appear, demo packages, demo projects, and articles about customization of Jetstream and Fortify. And by the way, it already exists. So if you go to blog Laravel.com, there is an article already, Jetstream customization, with a few tips from Taylor himself. So just watch on Twitter or elsewhere what will be released around that topic. And I will be probably contributing to some of that. So subscribe to the channel if you want to get more news about Laravel 8. Maybe I will review Jetstream with Tailwind and Livewire Inertia, we'll see. But for now, in this video, I've showed you how to use still old auth as we used before Laravel 8, but with Laravel 8 and Fortify. I hope it was helpful and see you guys in other videos.